Ah, look. There's a senior citizen's whist drive today, too, Mrs. Oh, Brandon. I don't play whist, not no more. No? I took Bath Evans to whist drive once, I swear, blind she cheated. <laughs> what are you doing here, anyway? Class in breaking and entering, is there? That's funny. Or taking cars without permission, perhaps? You know, if there was, I'd be first through the door. Mm -hmm. no, I told you, I'm your escort, all right? So, do you reckon uh, this lot's the quiet, then? I hope not. Because I thought it all be sort of, well, you know, mature. The Christmas choir is all inclusive. A broad church, as I like to call it. Oh, yes, uh, hey. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. Ah, just about to start. <laughs> ah, your new members? Well, I'm Ed Bishop. I could do. Pianist and uh, choir leader. And like I said, everyone's welcome. Uh, yeah, but no, no, not me. I'm, I'm <laughs> Mr. Bishop. Oh, great. <laughs> oh, lovely. <laughs> Talk to the community centre, so they've shifted us to half past five. Now, you be there. No excuses. Loud and clear, Mrs. B. Heaven knows what I would have done if Heather hadn't said she'd do me shift, and Lord knows what I'd have done. Whitney, can I have a moment? Honest opinion? Is it me? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a nice T-shirt. Look good on you. Look, he been nice on my bedroom floor in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Yeah? What, me? You want me to sing in front of loads of people? You must clearly rather be in Dubai. That's true, but if you want everything ready... What if it comes early and you're halfway across the world? But it was just an idea, all right? I won't go. Well, don't put yourself out for me, will you? No, I can't talk to you when you're like this. Fine, don't. Wow, you've got... Oh, oh, I'm glad you could make it, Denise. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, yeah, it'll be seen, yeah. Oh. Yeah. You volunteered too, did you? Uh, no, the phrase you're looking for is press gang. <laughs> we will start with Gloria in excelsis. Uh, Mrs B? Yes? Since when were we singing the traditional carols? In the absence of the choir master, it befalls me to make the music selection. Places, please. Ah, there you are. Has everybody got their sheets? You know, I hate this one. I can't hit any note, let alone the high ones. I can help you reach the high ones if you want. Edward is stuck in traffic, so I'm afraid we'll have to sing Acapulco. It's acapella, Mrs. B. Arthur, I've told you, I won't have none of that street talk here. <laughs> ah. <laughs> one and two and three and four and four. Oh. It's all about the 90s now. Those shoulder pads have got to go. I'd rather look like Joan Collins than a tomato. You might look like a tomato. What's wrong with the niche? She looks awful. Jordan's gone to stay with Lucas' sister. What, because? You'd think he'd be sent to out to Mongolia, but he's only gone to Wompton for a couple of weeks. Where is the treasure? I'll never tell you who you mean, Daddy. Hey, hey, ow, oh, ow! Oh. Now, then, Bobby, Bobby. Stop hitting Arthur. You know, we need someone with confidence and presence. Someone who can really perform the song. Mrs. Branning. Mrs. Branning. Oh, I'm sorry. I was miles away. About the solo. Oh, yes, that's all right, Mr. Bishop. I trust your judgment. You do? Yes. No uh, opinion whatsoever? No, no, I'm sure you'll make the right choice. Oh, well, I'm sure. Kim. Will be Kim? Mm. Oh, that voice. I need to make a rusty door hinge sound like a crisp. I'm being teased here, aren't I? <laughs> it's good to have you back, Mrs. Pretty. Who's your pick, then? Hey, ow, oh, ow, oh, hey! You nasty little pirate boy! <laughs> right, uh, if I could have your attention for a moment. <laughs> Mrs. Branding and I have decided who is to sing the closing solo. And that person is... Arthur. Oh. No, no, no. Um, wait a minute. How did not me? Bobby? Home time, I think. Look, Mrs. B, um, I'm sorry, yeah? I, I know I'm letting you down, but I, I can't do this. Why? Well, it's, it's, it's being sent to stage and singing. That ain't me. Oh, come on, you old show-off. Don't talk rot. You'll be letting the old choir down. I know, but 
You saw those people in their eyes piercing into me. Look, sometimes, Arthur, you've got to set your own fears aside and do it for the sake of the greater good. You, even if every bone in your body is telling you that it's wrong, you've got to push it aside and grasp the nettle. But that sounds painful. Yes, I know. But sometimes doing the right thing involves a little hardship. Do you want my inhaler? Perhaps your gran could sing it. But she's got the flu. Well, if it means helping everybody out. Maybe Denise? The Grinch that stole Christmas. I could probably be persuaded. I ain't being rude, Grandma, but you ain't really got the X-Factor. Well, fortunately, it ain't up to you, is it? All right, look. I'll, I'll be there. All right? Oh. Yeah? Yeah? Uh, uh, lady, ladies and gentlemen, I... Uh, Shall I do the solo? Ah, would you? Of course. <laughs> you better watch out. You better not cry. Better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa Claus is coming to town. Yeah! 